Hi, YouTubers. Something important, some kind of damn important. So I'm the garage guy, and I'm smoking a nice big ass cigar. It's the big ass cigar for life. Anyway, the house of keeping, uh, uh, smoking this Padron de Maso, nice big ass cigar. It's big ass cigar for life. The big ass cigar for life. And then anyway, I'm drinking right now some um, seltzer water, so some sparkling water. And no, that's not alcohol. So obviously no alcohol for the time being. So uh, anyway. So it's a very hot day up here in Massachusetts. We say Massachusetts, be so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn, damn, damn. Anyway, uh, yeah, big ass cigar. So uh, today's been a nice day up here. It's been kind of a hot day, you know, hot uh, day. I wouldn't say hot as hell, but I would say it's been a kind of a uh, very warm day up here. Uh, my cat, you know, my parents' cat, nice big ass cat, like the big ass cigar. Uh, you know, she doesn't want to go out much because it's too damn hot outside. Yeah, it's really too damn hot for the cat. So she went outside in the morning, but uh, um, she's staying inside right now, which is probably a good thing. So. Uh, um, anyway, a lot of people might wonder, you know, hey, Smoking Essie, do you have pets, you know? And the answer is, uh, yes, yes, my parents do have pets. However, I don't have pets in my apartment. Even though technically I'm allowed to under my lease, I am, le I am legally allowed to have pets. I just choose not to have pets in my apartment. So, uh, uh, my parents have, uh, three cats. We don't have any dogs right now, you know, nice big-ass dogs like a big-ass cigar, so my parents have three cats. We had four cats at once, but the one cat died a couple of years ago. Um, but uh, we have three cats right now. My parents, you know, um, nice big ass parents like the big ass cigar. And um, yeah, so my parents have three cats. Uh, one is about uh, 12 years old. Her name is Misi, M-I-S-S-I, -S -S Misi, and um, she is uh, 12 years old, actually over 12 years old. We got her back in 2010. Uh, yeah, we got her back in um, the summer of 2010, and unfortunately her brother was unfortunately uh, eaten by a coyote, so that really sucks, you know, for really better word, that really fucking sucks. Anyway, and then the second cat we have is a cat named Perry. The name is spelled P-E-R-R-I, or P-E-R-I, so uh, Perry. And she is basically a, um, you might have seen her in a very old video of mine, uh, back in like 2017, you might have seen a, a video of her, uh, but um, you're going back a long time, I mean, going back over five years ago. So uh, uh, she's a orange, uh, like marmalade colored cat, uh, uh, like an orange, not really a tabby cat, but more like an orange marmalade cat. And um, she is... Um, she's about six years old, so give or take about six years old. Uh, we got her back in um, the day after Christmas of 2016. We got um, the cat uh, Perry, and uh, she is... Um, yeah, she's ab about, you know, give or take, just under six years old. So uh, that's, you know, not really middle age for a cat, but it's more like, I'd say, uh, like, like older, younger years. And then our third cat is named Nala, like on Lion King, the Lion King, like Nala and Simba. So uh, Nala is spelled N-A-L-A, N-A-L-A. So, uh, and Nala... Um, is all black, um, all black, and she's by far the smallest all, overall, so she's the, by far the smallest, and she, we got her back in November of 2017. So in November of 2017, we got our, you know, the cat Nala, and she is uh, by far the smallest, you know, she only weighs about seven pounds, car going by. And um, she is, I believe, in terms of her age, uh, Nala, she's about uh, just under five years old. So just under five years old because she was born around uh, the end of July of 2017. 
So yeah, she's just under five years old. And then up until uh, 2019, we had another cat who was named, uh, we had we had four cats at once uh, named, um, and, they, and they say in general, you should really never get more than four or five cats because at that point it becomes like hoarding. So, um, so yeah, we had a fourth cat at one point and her name was uh, Julie, just Julie, like spelled normally, um, or Juliana. And uh, she was a very nice cat. Uh, we had gotten her back in uh, Columbus Day of 2015, uh, but uh, she unfortunately passed away or we had to put her to sleep. So, and you might say, well, why did you have to put her to sleep? You know, what was wrong with her? And the answer is with our, the, the cat is that she had either some kind of autoimmune disease or some kind of undiagnosed autoimmune disease or she had some kind of um, uh, cancer, like some type of like very slow progressing cancer and maybe like a, a GI cancer, like a, like a gastrointestinal cancer. And she was basically just, just uh, you know, pissing and shedding everywhere. So, you know, pissing and shedding everywhere. So uh, that's what eventually, you know, eventually at a certain point, uh, we just couldn't, we couldn't de deal with it anymore. And unfortunately we had to put her to sleep because she was uh, pissing and shedding everywhere. So, uh, um, and then back in uh, 2016, uh, my, my, um, cat that I picked out myself when I was a little boy um, uh, uh, died, if you remember, a very long time ago, uh, going back almost six years. Uh, my own cat uh, uh, died back in 2016, and we had had him for almost 20, almost 20 years. Uh, we had him from uh, 97, 1997 to uh, 2016. He would have been, he would have been uh, uh, 20 years old in uh, April of 2017. So um, he was, his name was Tuffy, like I'm being like very tough, like Tuffy, like I'm being tough to you. And um, he, um, yeah, so we had him for 19, 19 and a half years. And the issue of him, the reason why he died, he thankfully we didn't have to put him down, but uh, he just died in his sleep. Uh, the issue with him was kidney failure. So uh, ultimately what happened with him is uh, kidney failure. So uh, so with him, essentially, uh, uh, he w had definitely had kidney failure and due to his age, or he probably also may have had diabetes. Uh, and due to his age, we just didn't want to su subject him to any kind of treatment, uh, like any kind of like, you know, dialysis or treatment, uh, not to mention the extremely high cost of that treatment. Uh, um, so we kind of just let him be. Uh, um, and also he hated the vet, you know, uh, he absolutely fucking hated the vet. Uh, so, I mean, it would just be not fair to him uh, or, you know, not even fair to us, you know, the high cost uh, to uh, take him for like dialysis treatment or diabetes treatment. Uh, it was probably kidney failure because he was... Uh, he was uh, like pissing, like pissing a lot, and also like um, he would like uh, you know throw up like a uh, clear bile, which is basically a sign of kidney failure, so uh, or liver disease. So, but you know, at a, at a certain point, I mean, he was almost twenty years old. So, uh, and for an average, you know, especially for an indoor outdoor cat, you know, he was an indoor outdoor cat his entire life. Uh, you know, almost twenty years old is a very good life. I mean, for a better word, uh, that's a pretty fucking good life for an indoor outdoor cat because. Uh, your average indoor outdoor cat only lives three to five years or two to five years because of all the, da the dangers outside. And, um, you know, he lived, I mean, he lived uh, for a very long time. So, I mean, we had him uh, from, you know, May, May of 1997 to, uh, you know, November of 2016. So uh, we had him for a very long time, long ass time, uh, like the big ass cigar. Um, and then if you do remember from a very long time ago, from a very long time ago, I had, um, a dog, nice big ass dog, like the big ass cigar. Um, yeah, I, we had a dog for a long time and his name was Bear, B-E-A-R, like a, like a bear, like a freaking bear, you know, like a, you know, a bear. So, and, uh, we had him, uh, from um, from around thank around Thanksgiving of 1997, <clears throat> around Thanksgiving of 1997, uh, 
to um, to uh, April of 2012. Yeah, April of 2012. So we had him for a very long time, and he was a very nice uh, mutt, you know, a mutt, not a purebred. He was, we think he was kind of like a shepherd lab mix, you know, shepherd yellow lab mix. And um, so uh, he was a very nice dog, not a very smart dog, you know, not, obviously not a very smart ass dog, like the big ass cigar. Uh, but he was, uh, we had him for, for 14 and a half years. Uh, he would have been 15 that fall. So, you know, the fall, you know, the fall of, um, uh, the fall of uh, like September, like September of um, uh, September of 2012, he would have been, uh, he would have been uh, 15 years old, 15 years old, not 50 years old. So, uh, and um, yeah, he lived a very long life. Um, actually, when we had to put him to sleep, uh, the dog, um, the vet told us that he had outlived every dog in his class. You know. Uh, that every dog in his class was basically dead, and essentially he had outlived every do <clears throat> every dog in his class. <clears throat> and what really got him in the end with the dog, you know, he had a very good life. He had a very good, uh, healthy life, um, and also a very high quality life. What finally got him in the end was uh, his arthritis, because what happens with um, oftentimes with shepherds, with uh, dogs that are either pure pure German shepherd or like partially German Shepherd, what ended up happening because of uh, inbreeding is their back legs and their legs in general, uh, because of arthritis, uh, essentially kind of give out over time. And uh, he had to have several orthopedic surgeries, which were obviously very expensive, you know, very damn expensive. I'm sorry, there's a, there's a fly flying around my phone. I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, he had to have several uh, surgeries. He had to have uh, both his knee, his uh, hips done, uh, which I'm sure was like, I don't know, like $1,000 per piece, you know, which is very expensive, you know. Uh, uh, he also had to have his, his tail taken off because, uh, uh, not because we wanted to, but because he got caught in the door, uh, got caught in the screen door, uh, and essentially damaged the nerves in the tail by accident. It was obviously a complete accident. Obviously, we would never, you know, uh, we would never hurt our dog. It's like, you know, it was a, com a complete accident, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, that was never $1,000, I'm sure, out of pocket, you know. So, uh, and also he had to have, you know, other types of, you know, stuff, you know, uh, Um, and he uh, also, the dog, he also had a growth or a, like a tumor on his, uh, hip. He had like a, probably like a cyst or like a benign tumor on his hip and he had it for a while. And the reason we never, you know, kind of got, got taken care of is not because we dislike the dog, but because by the time we realized it was really a problem more than just like a bump on his, on his hip, it was uh, already too big and the vet had told us if we put him through surgery, which I'm sure would be very expensive, basically, essentially, the only benefit to surgery would be removing it and finding out through pathology whether the cyst was benign or not, whether it was a benign tumor or not. Um, and obviously, if he had cancer, we obviously would put him down because obviously, we would never subject, subject our animal to like chemo and radiation, you know, let alone the cost, the cost, you know, thousands of dollars in the cost. But also, uh, Due to his age, due to him being like 13, 13 or 14 years old, uh, his body, his heart, probably could, his cardiovascular system probably couldn't withstand the surgery. His body probably couldn't withstand the surgery because of his age. So we ended up doing nothing about it. So, and a lot of people said that it was cruel. I got a comment, you know, back in 2012 saying, oh, didn't you take your puppy to the vet? It's like, you know, he's not a puppy. It's not a, he's not a fucking puppy. He's a 14-year-old a dog who wouldn't even be able to withstand surgery. He'd probably die on the operating table. So he's not a brand new puppy we just got two weeks ago at the shelter. It's like, you know, so... Um, that's the reason why we never chose to act on the, on the tumor. So, uh, and ultimately it was, it really wasn't even the tumor that killed him uh, because the tumor was most likely not cancerous because he had it for a long time. And even though it got bigger and bigger, uh, most likely it was not cancerous because it never really, we, we, we're pretty sure it wasn't cancerous. Uh, um, crap. But um, what got him in the end was the arthritis. And ultimately, when we had to take him to the vet to be put down, um, he couldn't even walk into the vet. That's how poor his uh, his legs were. 
because not because we had done anything wrong, but because uh, his arthritis was so bad, uh, just from the uh, you know year, just just from old age in general, like you know just how people get older uh, and people naturally die, you know, uh, just you know just over time his arthritis had gotten so bad, and we were actually giving him like a baby like a baby like Tylenol, like a children's Tylenol, which I, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I mean you can actually give a dog a little bit of a, like babies like Tylenol, and that'll actually help with the pain. So, uh, but he had severe arthritis due to, uh, due to him being such an old dog in general. So, uh, and it was nothing because we, it's not like we did anything wrong. It's just because of his age. So, uh, and, um, you know, uh, you know, the vet had said, you know, when we had to put him down, put him to sleep, it's like, you know, he said, oh, yeah, oh, the vet said, oh, yeah, he uh, he outlived every dog. <sighs> he outlived every dog in his class. It's like, you know, uh, there's no dog in his class that, that's still alive, you know. Uh, he was, I think, like, one of, like, six siblings, you know, who we got from a shelter. Uh, and um, the, the vet said every dog in his class is deceased. It's like, you know, there's no dog in his class that's still alive. Uh, and, I mean, he had a wonderful life. I mean, he would get treats. I mean, the vet always tells us not to give the dog treats. What not like, like human food, like human food. He would get, like, you know, Dairy Queen ice cream, which they say don't really give dogs ice cream, you know. Um, you know, he would get, like, you know, human animal crackers. You know, he would get, like, you know, all kinds of treats, like whipped cream. It's like, you know, and obviously I'm not encouraging you to do that with your pet. It's like, you know, because every dog's stomach is different, you know. But he had a very good quality of life. He had a damn good life, a damn, damn good life. So, and, and he had a, lo a long life. So that's the deal on my pets, is I, I've had a lot of pets over the years. And we also had other pets, you know, even before uh, my parents had me as a kid. Uh, my parents always had cats, nice big ass cats, like the big ass cigar. Ooh. So, um, yeah, so, um, Currently, I don't have any pets in my apartment. Uh, I don't have any pets, um, even though I'm allowed to. Uh, under my under my lease at my apartment, uh, I'm allowed to have one cat or one dog or one pet in general uh, that is um, that is uh, a small. Like I could have a small dog, less than thirty five pounds, uh, or I could have like a one cat, like a, a typical you know, one cat, obviously not like, not like a bobcat, you know, like a regular cat, you know, so, uh, um, but yeah, so I, um, yeah, so currently I'm not, in, currently I'm not interested in having a pet, but I will always keep my mind open in terms of, you know, if I were want to have a, a pet in general, And the policy of my apartment with cats is uh, you're allowed to have one cat. Uh, you have to provide the uh, landlord with um, with uh, proof of vaccinations and proof of you know uh, the cat has been vaccinated. Just in case, <clears throat> just in case the cat got out of the apartment by mistake and the um, you know somebody got scratched or bedding, for example, you know uh, you know just proof that the cat has its rabies shot. The cat, the cat has its distemper shot. Proof the cat has its feline leukemia shot, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, um, essentially, um, the rule is the cat stays in your apartment. So you have to keep the cat in your apartment, uh, and uh, that's the rule at my apartment. So, uh, <clears throat> but I am currently not interested in having a, having a pet myself. And you know, having a pet myself, um, I am um, currently uh, happy just you know having myself in the apartment. So uh, kind of like you know, right now, I'm not interested in having a girlfriend right now, or, or you know, dating right now. Uh, you know, never, no, I'm not saying I will never date a girl or ne never date a person, uh, but you know, a person in general. But I'm just saying, right now, I'm not interested. So uh, uh, yeah, so right now, no interest in having a pet. Uh, and my parents are pretty happy, you know, with the pets they have right now. Uh, you know, we thought about a couple of years ago, like, you know, oh, do we want to have another cat, you know, get a new kitten, you know. Uh, but honestly, kittens are a ton of work. And uh, with my parents being almost 65 years old, it's like, you know, uh, it's a lot of work. I mean, you really have, I mean, a kitten uh, for the first, like, six months to a year is a lot of work. 
So, uh, yeah, so we're not saying we'll never get another cat, but, um, but you know, for the time being, we're happy with Macy, Perry, and Nala. So, so yeah, um, so that's the gist of that. So that's a little ramble right there. So in terms of my plans for the, the remainder of the day, uh, we're probably gonna get takeout from a restaurant uh, this afternoon. Um, not sure what we'll get for a takeout. Uh, last weekend we got uh, what's called Pizzeria Uno's, which um, my parents got a pizza, a nice big ass pizza like the big ass cigar, just being silly ass like the big ass cigar. And um, I got a, a bacon cheddar burger. So a really nice burger on a gluten-free roll. So. Uh, eh. Yeah, sorry. A little bit of tobacco in my mouth. Yet another, re yet, yet another reason I have no interest in chewing tobacco. I get that question a lot. Uh, like, hey, dude, will, will you ever chew tobacco? Will you ever you know, dip on camera, you know? Uh, and I say, hell no, hell no, uh, hell no. I, I have no interest in chewing, chewing tobacco or dip or snus or anything like that or snus. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, so... Um, so yeah, I got a bacon cheddar burger, a bacon cheddar burger, um, a, a bacon cheddar burger last weekend. Uh, I got a side of, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, you know, taters, uh, and I was a, it was a good, a good dinner overall. So I, I liked the dinner. The pizza, the pizza that my parents got, I actually treated my parents to the dinner. I actually paid out of pocket for it. And I treated my parents to dinner because, you know, we kind of take turns, you know, we kind of take turns every other week, you know, I'll pay and then my parents will pay uh, every other week. So like twice a month, my parents will pay and twice a month I'll pay. So um, basically uh, I paid, it, was, it, was, it wasn't cheap. I mean, that, that pizza that I bought my parents for, for takeout, I bought my parents for takeout was like 25 bucks, you know, 25 bucks for a large pizza. I mean, that's a lot of money. I mean, for a large deep dish pizza, I mean, holy shit, it's like, you know, holy shit. I mean, uh, I mean, 25 bucks, it's like, you know, that's a lot of, that's a hell of a lot of money for a, a pizza. I mean, it, I'm sure it was a good quality pizza. I obviously couldn't, I obviously couldn't have it because it, it was obviously not gluten free or not gluten sensitive, but uh, I mean, holy crap, it's like, you know, 25 bucks for a pizza. I mean, I'm not saying it's like $100, but I mean, holy crap, it's like, that's a lot of money. It's like, you know, uh, so yeah, maybe my parents and I will do something uh, um, a little bit more reasonable this week, you know, something a little bit less expensive. Uh, uh, because this this week is my parents' turn to pay for the dinner, so and then uh, ne the following week it'll be my turn to pay for the dinner, so uh, and also I'm, I'm in uh, Jul in July in July uh, I'm gonna treat my dad to a dinner out, so my dad and I are gonna go out to a restaurant in July, uh, and we're gonna go out to a restaurant. I'm gonna treat 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 my dad to um. Uh, to a dinner out in a restaurant, so we're not really sure. We're not really sure where we're going, uh, but essentially, uh, because money's a little tight right now, I'm going to treat him to um, to a dinner out at the restaurant, and I'll 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 pay out of pocket myself. So, which I think my parents both agree is very generous, very damn generous. So, you know. Anyway. So, not a whole lot more to talk about. Um, uh, the cigar's starting to kind of fall apart. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Ugh. Okay, this cigar's done. Anyway, have a nice day, YouTubers. Uh, pretty freaking cool. Bye.